we're digging deeper into the constitutional rights of businesses under a new noise ordinance in the city of North Myrtle Beach. City Council yesterday unanimously passed an ordinance that puts restrictions on vulgar lyrics played at local businesses. News 13's Ashley Hendricks is live tonight in North Myrtle Beach. And Ashley, there's some mixed opinions out there on it. Yeah, well, it's pretty quiet here on Main Street right now, but I'm told this is where hundreds of complaints came from. Residents and tourists saying vulgar music could be heard up to 10 blocks away from here, offending some while pleasing others. I think anywhere they have partying and they have bands out on the street, I mean, that's just what goes on. A night on the town in North Myrtle Beach now sounds a little different. That's thanks to city council unanimously passing a noise ordinance after receiving hundreds of complaints from residents and tourists. It's profane, vulgar, or obscene, and I don't want my kids and grandkids to have to listen to it while they're walking down Main Street or eating an ice cream cone. City spokesperson Pat Dowling says those were the type of calls city council had been hearing since the spring of this year. Under the new ordinance, businesses with obscene, vulgar, or profane lyrics cannot be played over 60 decibels from 11 at night to 7 in the morning and not exceed 80 decibels from 7.01 in the morning to 10.59 p.m. Experts say 60 decibels equates to background music, whereas 80 decibels compares to a power lawnmower. CCU professor Michael Norris has a primary focus in constitutional law. He says this part of the ordinance may violate First Amendment rights. The messages and the lyrics that they were doing, if they were uh, being uh, you know, punished because of the message, that would be an, an issue. But the city was legally advised before passing the ordinance. Nobody is banning that kind of music. No one is barring somebody who wants to listen to it from going to a club to listen to it. What the ordinance does is limits the decibel level so that it stays within that property. And there are a number of bars here on Main Street, but Dowling says complaints came from other parts of the city. Coming up at 6, the consequences businesses will face if found in violation of the noise ordinance. Reporting live tonight in North Myrtle Beach, Ashley Hendricks, News 13.